Hello, this is State Representative Rob Martwick, and uh, this is a quick follow-up. I mean, normally I usually do videos not quickly, quite as quickly as this, uh, but this is a quick follow-up to the last video I did, which was basically a, a 101 primer on property taxes, trying to explain basically how the system works. I got a lot of good questions and good feedback about it, and I thought it would be opportune to follow up, especially as I have a little bit of news for you. Um, I intend to do another one, it's Friday right now, uh, August 3rd, I believe, and I intend to do a follow-up video on Monday uh, where I will talk a little bit more about property taxes, including uh, there's a lot of questions about why did I particularly or did this area receive a large increase, a large percentage increase in assessed value? Why did things go up as much as they did? Um, and I, I think I have some ideas. Um, I want to explain a little bit more, a little bit more in the detail. So if you're interested in finding out some of the reasons that things have happened the way that they've happened in the last bit, um, you, I'll be happy to do that. In the meantime, this video is very short, and, and there's a reason that I wanted to follow up with it right away, is I've got some news, and I think the news is important to share with you. Um, so this is Rob Martwick, uh, Straight Talk Common Sense Solutions, as we talk a little bit about more about property taxes. And again, very brief video, just to talk a little bit about news. So the first bit of news, as you are all dealing with a little bit of sticker shock after getting your increase in assessments, is I have some good news, and this is good news, about exemptions, okay? And uh, this is something I'm very proud of. If you've watched some of my other videos, you've heard me talk about it. One of my initiatives, long before I knew what these assessment increases were going to be, um, I realized that... Uh, you know, we live in a system where our property taxes, not just our property taxes, our whole tax system is kind of unfair, especially for middle class, working class people, poor people. Um, and so I thought I would do something about it. What I thought I would do is I proposed a bill that would raise property tax exemptions. When your property tax exemptions go up, your bill goes down. Now, to be fair, if there is a large increase in property taxes, what I'm giving you in terms of exemption relief is not going to make your property tax bill go down, but instead it will go up less than it would have otherwise, right? So as the bill is calculated, a higher exemption level means a lower bill level than it would be otherwise. So which exemptions did we raise? Well, we raised the homeowner's exemption. In Cook County, the homeowner's exemption was $7,000 off of your assessed value. It's now $10,000. What does that $3,000 of equalized assessed value mean to you? If you're a Chicago resident, it means about $225 of property tax relief. That's right, a $225 decrease from your tax bill that you wouldn't have received if not for the passage of this bill. If you were a senior citizen, if you're over the age of 65, your senior exemption was an additional $5,000. That went up to $8,000. So if you're over 65 and you own a piece of property in Cook County and you occupy it and you are a senior citizen, that's $6,000 of relief off of your value. And that equates to, again, if you're a Chicago resident, you're looking at probably $450 of relief that you would not have received without the passage of this bill. Um, so this is real property tax relief. You hear a lot of people talking about, oh, we're going to freeze property taxes, and I'm going to fight for property tax relief. You've never actually really seen anything that actually lowers your bill. Well, guess what? You're about to. Um, finally, we have this wonderful thing in Cook County called the senior freeze. The senior freeze is important because what it does is, if you're over 65 and you're on a fixed income, and that income is below a certain level, we will freeze your taxes to make sure you don't get taxed out of your home. This is good for seniors so that they can stay in their homes. And it's good for all the rest of us because when senior citizens can stay in their home, well, that creates stability in our neighborhoods. It makes sure that our property values are stable. It is a good thing. What we did with the senior freeze is we did two things. Number one, we expanded the the availability of it. So it used to be only you were only eligible for a senior freeze is if you had a household income of less than 55000 We raised that threshold to less than 65000 This means more senior citizens, especially in middle class, working class, and poor neighborhoods, will qualify for the senior freeze. 
But more than that, the senior freeze only used to come as a freeze. We've now added additional exemption relief. So now you'll get an additional $1,500 of relief, which again, we're talking about about another $100 off of your tax bill. So if you're a senior and you, quali and you qualify for the senior freeze for the first time this year, you're looking at probably $550 off of your tax bill and your, exempt, your, uh, your equalized assessed value will be frozen going forward to help you afford property taxes. So this is good news. Not everybody knows about it. I've been trying to talk it up. But if you are a homeowner, you're getting relief in Cook County. And that's a bill I passed. I'm very proud of it. Um, got a lot of help. Democrats and Republicans in Cook County signed on to this because it's a good thing. So, um, and, and the governor was kind enough to sign it. So, so that's good news. Um, on the other bit of news that I wanted to share with you, uh, if you've received your, your uh, assessed value increase and you're concerned, we talked about this in the last video, should I appeal, should I not appeal? The short answer is if you're not sure, if you're not sure if you should do it or not, do it. Why not have a check? And thankfully, there are very easy ways to do this. Now, there's, there's really uh, three ways you can do this. And um, two of them, one is you could go to cookcountyassessor.com, cookcountyassessor.com, and you can file. There's a link there, file a residential appeal. It's a pretty simple process. I'm not going to walk you through it. You can find instructional videos on YouTube. Maybe I'll do one. But uh, for right now, you can go there, click on the appeals, file a residential appeal, and it will walk you through the process. Really well. Quite simple. <clears throat> Additionally, later on in a few months, when the Cook County Board of Review opens up to review this, then you can file an appeal at the Cook County Board of Review.com, Cook County Board of Review.com. Again, a very simple process to file an appeal through there, right? The second thing you could do is you could hire a lawyer. Now, is that good or bad or indifferent? Well, let me tell you what. You don't need a lawyer to file a residential appeal. And I know because I'm a property tax lawyer, right? Um, so I'm here to tell you you don't need one. So why would you use one? Well, number one, uh, if you just don't have the time or the wherewithal yourself to do it, right? I mean, I can change my own oil, but I typically go to somewhere else to change my oil because I just don't have time, right? So for me, it's worth that service. It might be worth it to you if you don't have the time to go through this or you just don't have the capacity to understand it. You might find value in hiring professional help, but you don't need to do it. You can either do it yourself or even the next step easier is both the Cook County Assessor and the Cook County Board of Review have what we call outreach seminars. Now again, and, and on, on this video, in one of the comments, I'm going to post all of the outreaches for Jefferson Township because that's what's going on. If you live on the northwest side of Chicago and you're being reassessed, you probably live in Jefferson Township. There are a ton of these little outreach seminars where the Cook County Assessor goes out to different places. The good news that I have for you is that we have scheduled one for August 15th, 2018, right here in the heart of Jefferson Township about smack dab in the middle of it, at the Copernicus Center, okay? Uh, for those of you not familiar with the Copernicus Center, I would think most people in the Northwest Side are familiar with it. It's that big uh, orange brick building that used to be the Gateway Theater that's just west of the Kennedy Expressway on Lawrence Avenue. 5216 West Lawrence Avenue, 6 p.m., Copernicus Center on August 15th. Show up. It is a free outreach. You fill out the paperwork. The Cook County Assessor's Office employees will be there to help you fill out the paperwork, and you can submit an appeal. Is it the best way to do it? I think it is. If you're a homeowner, it's the best way. And if you don't like the relief you got, or if you don't get any relief at all from the Cook County Assessor, then what will you can do is you can go to the Cook County Board of Review, and you can decide what to do then. You can submit an outreach appeal there, or you can... Do it online yourself there, or you, if you really feel like you, you want to lock it down, you can uh, hire an attorney. And then finally, even after that, even after the Board of Review, once the bills have been issued and you've paid them, 
Um, if you file right after the Board of Review, you can file at the Property Tax Appeal Board, and if you receive relief there, you'll actually get a refund of the overpayment. So there's lots of uh, options here, um, but for right now, if you live in Jefferson Township, if you, you live in my district, come August 15, 2018, to the Copernicus Center, 5216 West Lawrence, at 6 p.m., and it's a great first step, right? You can learn about the process, and you... You can fill out the paperwork there. If you're in a hurry, you can take it. You can drop it off at my office here. We'll be happy to take it. Um, so that, that's it for now. Uh, this is State Representative Robert Martwick with a little bit of an update on property taxes. Tune in next week. We'll talk about that question. How did things go up so high? Why did they go up so high? Why did my house go up so high? Even though I don't know your individual house, I can show you some examples of how, uh, say, for instance, a property uh, 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 assessment that went up 49% is still actually lower than everybody else on their block. So uh, more on that next week. As always, thank you for watching. Please feel free to uh, leave comments here or reach me at my office at 773-286-1115. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.